Here I'm going to show you a great little tip for deleting all of the shapes in your worksheet. This requires a little bit of VBA, but I'm going to walk you through all of it. Don't worry, anybody can do this. And this example here is when you copy something from the web and you paste it into Excel and you want to very quickly clean the data. So over here we have a bunch of check boxes and they are very pesky and not so easy to get rid of, but this will work for all shapes. So first let me show you a couple steps that I do when I import this data because it is a real world example. So I paste the data in and then before doing anything else it's all going to be selected. So then go to the home tab and go here to editing and this little clear window. Go to remove hyperlinks and that's going to kill any links that you had in this data. The very next one is to clear formats. It doesn't look very helpful here. We're going to get some color and some date formatting removed, but if you have cells that have wrapped text or text that should be wrapped or just a lot of crazy formatting with big letters and all of that, well you want to do that so you can get just the basic data here. It's going to make it so much easier to analyze. And then the next one before the VBA is go to find and select and selection pane. And here we have all of our shapes. So the check boxes are these control guys. And then we have a bunch of little pictures that you can't even tell are there until you get to the selection pane. Now for some of these guys, you can click them, hit control A and then delete and you'll get most of them away. For the controls, it's not going to really work that way. But also, maybe you don't want to go to the selection pane. So what you can do is Alt F11 to go to the VBA window, then go to Insert, Module, and type Sub, and Kill Shapes. You can give it whatever name that you want. I'm going to call it Kill Shapes. And don't worry if you don't have Option Explicit at the top. This is all you need to type. Dim sh as shape that creates a variable to hold a shape and then a little loop to go through every shape in the currently active worksheet for each sh in active sheet dot shapes but spelled correctly the next sh go in the middle and type sh dot delete and that is all that you need. Now we can go back to the workbook, Alt F11, then hit Alt F8, and click the name of the macro kill shapes, run it. But before that, look, we have check boxes right here, and they are no more. Now you should only do this on a worksheet made for importing the data and cleaning it because it will remove many things, including charts and pretty much everything from the illustrations section. So if you have something that you want to keep that is a shape, that will remove it. So do it only for imported data. And now we've got nice, neat, clean text. If we go to the Home tab and find Select Selection Pane, nothing there. So I'm going to leave it on the code window so you can see that this is all that you need, just these few lines. Go to the worksheet then where you want to remove shapes from and run this macro. Now, if you liked this, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you can get all of my new tutorials.